Hi, I'm Mason King with IBJ Media. I'm joined by Tom James of Raymond James Associates. He just delivered an address here at IBJ's Road Ahead Breakfast uh, discussing various investment issues. And Tom, I wanted to follow up with you on some of the issues that you raised. And I want to look at, if we can, uh, from the perspective of the individual investor. And the first question is the most obvious one. I'm sure every question you get asked has this at its root, where should I put my money in the next two years? Yep, uh, it's a very <laughs> common question and I guess I, I would tell you the most important thing is that you stay true to an asset allocation strategy that, that you have put together with your professional advisor uh, to stay diversified and make sure that, that you're protected from most market environments. Obviously in the last market environment we had almost everything went down so uh, that's difficult but we've had a, tr a tremendous rally here uh, since March of last year and uh, markets are up you know 70 percent on the Dow Jones, 50 percent on the S&P 500. Uh, bond yields are still uh, traditionally pretty low uh, and I think the interest rate environment is probably going to increase uh, going forward uh, beginning next year. So you probably want to stay short with your fixed income exposure I, I would tell you so that you can roll some of those securities into longer term securities when rates go up. Uh, I, I still think municipals offer a good value. We're looking at higher tax rates going forward, so uh, you certainly need to consider that on the fixed income side. Uh, on the equity side, I would tell you probably large cap stocks uh, have the most promise uh, coming out of this. Small cap and mid cap have already rallied pretty substantially. Uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity still in energy. There's a lot of opportunity still in healthcare. There's a lot of opportunity still in, in uh, technology stocks. Uh, I would specifically mention some of the larger tech stocks like Intel, Microsoft, uh, 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 EMC, uh, Cisco, some of the leaders that are still selling at, at relatively low multiples even compared to averages today. What do you like about the energy sector? Uh, unfortunately, we're still running out of oil. Uh, so. Uh, there are limited supplies, uh, there's going to be tremendous demand from emerging countries going forward and as the U.S. and developed countries' uh, economies improve, you're going to see more demand there. So it looks to me like we're almost certain to have oil price increases in the near term. Uh, on, on the gas front, there have been terrific uh, discoveries in the United States and our shale plays all over uh, the United States. So. Uh, but we need to have conversion on, on gas, uh, which means that you're going to have to have trucks running on gas engines, etc. This isn't gas in the traditional sense, this is on natural gas. Uh, so uh, I think there's opportunity longer term to buy some of those gas uh, producers also. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of opportunities still left in the market, even though as, as uh, uh, we've spoken earlier, I, I suspect we're going to have some corrections in the market now because we've had pretty much a one-way street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how solid are the underpinnings of this, of this uh, rebound so far, or should we expect some fairly significant uh, corrections? Well, the, the economic underpinnings are very strong. Indeed, uh, I think the U.S. economy is going to be one of the best performers uh, going forward over the next couple of years. And, uh, so you can feel pretty safe investing in, in equities, but we do have this risk of volatility simply because this one-way street lends itself to corrections. Negative information coming out will affect prices. So uh, I think it's understandable that we'll have this volatility, but I still think people are going to make money uh, in the near and intermediate term in equities. Now I know that your outlook is positive for the next 18 months. What do you see happening after 18 months, two years from now? Are there seeds of, uh, of trouble that have been planted that we need to look out for in that time frame? Well, uh, certainly there are. We've had a lot of deficit spending. We still have uh, negative trade balances uh, here in the United States. Uh, the government has not shown fiscal discipline, uh, either the prior Republican administration or this one. It's very important that we uh, get control of the fiscal situation and make sure uh, that we have better balance and that we're coming back into equilibrium because it's not good to make this large additions to our debt burden here in the United States. So 
Uh, we're sort of at the mercy of whatever China and our foreign large debt holders uh, are uh, or want us to do. And, and that's really not a good situation to be in any more than energy dependency is.